Hey everybody. Um, I just wanted to walk you guys through how to do um, technique sample one and two. So technique sample number one, go ahead and just watch this video. This is how we did the sample um, in the classroom before we started using closed software. Um, basically what these samples are is adding seam allowance. So normally when people take the pattern drafting class, um, seam allowance is a new vocabulary word for them. Um, hopefully you maybe learned about it after doing that tote project. So the tote bag, I asked the tote bag, I think to be 11 inches by 14 inches. Well, if you draft the pattern 11 by 14, when you go sew it up, you can't sew on the edge, edge, edge. So your sewn garment's automatically going to be a little bit smaller than what your pattern is. So pattern makers know that. So when they design a pattern, they design sewing lines. This is where you sew. And then they add extra um, paper or pattern around it, um, which is called an allowance, a seam allowance. So um, some pattern makers do half an inch, some do three eighths, some do five eighths, some do one inch. There's all kinds of different reasons for different types of seam allowances, depending on the fabric, what machine you're doing, and what type of seam you're actually constructing. I talk about that forever. So anyways, I just want to make sure everybody understands what is seam allowance and um, and how to add it and to add it properly. So so we take a moment in the classroom where we do, did it by hand. And when you add seam allowance to a dart, that's a little tricky. Now, as I say the word dart, I realize maybe that's a new vocabulary word for some people, especially if you haven't taken sewing yet. So a dart is where we it's like this little triangle thing here and you when you sew it together it takes your pattern from being flat to being now 3d like up a little bit um so you know here on this bottom picture we just cut out the seam allowance of the dart but a lot of times people don't cut out the seam allowance they just leave um all the dart excess there that way if they want to take out the dart they can it might be less work it, I don't know. It's just two different ways of, of doing it. So um, on the first one, we just fold the dart excess and then we like cut the bottom waist and then you unfold it and you'll see the dart has like a weird pointy shape. It's funny because I think most students, like if they're envisioning what would the dart excess look like, they're going to add seam allowance to the bottom but leave all that blue stuff. They would probably think the seam allowance would follow the same shape as the pattern and just be like a straight line but really it actually ends up being pointy, which is kind of weird. So that's why we do it just for students to learn and, and kind of like embrace it and, and be exposed to it. So we're not gonna do that on the computer. So for step one, I just want you to watch the video and just acknowledge like sometimes the seam allowance around a dart looks like a pointy shape, which you'll see if you buy home sewing patterns often. But in the commercial industry, a lot of the times the seam allowance around a dart is going to look like this bottom one. So that one we are going to do together right now. So to do it, you want to download the sloper. Okay. So I have mine downloaded already. And then you're going to go to the close software. So I'm looking for mine. I opened mine already. So it's ready to go. And hopefully by now you've actually watched some of the intro tutorial videos on close. So you know a little bit about navigating, like scrolling to zoom, um, you know, right click to move around on the 3D. There's keyboard shortcuts if you get lost. You can hit like the number one or the number two and um, just to kind of get back to wherever you need to go. Um, okay, so let's see here. So I'm gonna go file and we're gonna say open and we're gonna open up a project. File, open project. It's great at opening a project because that should include our avatar. It should include our garment. It should include everything, which is nice. So mine is, I believe I downloaded it um, to my downloads folder. <laughs> That's always the hardest part, right? Finding, where did we say that? Uh, it says today, hello, where are you? Oh, maybe I didn't download it. Just kidding. Let's go back to the internet. I'm going to click that guy. Are you downloading, buddy? Let me see. Oh, here he is. Okay, now he's downloading. There he is. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go back to Clo. I'll just hit desktop. I'm going to reset it. Downloads. There it is. Okay. And I want to click it and open it. 
Maybe it's still downloading. Why are you not opening? Here, I'll say cancel. File, uh, open project. There it is. Open. <laughs> cool. Okay. Let me move some of this stuff out of your way while we wait. Okay, so I'm running this on my Mac laptop. This is not a super, super fancy. I mean, I love my Macs, but it's not like a gamer's computer, or like super high tech or anything like that. And it's, it works great, honestly. Okay, so here is our sloper pattern and um, it's already sewn up. So you can see the darts legs get sewn up. I'm gonna right click around our avatar. There's our dart on the avatar. So it's good to familiarize yourself with this pattern. Like, huh, it takes this flat shape and it will make this garment. Cool, okay. But we need to add seam allowance to it because maybe we wanna actually print this out and sew it up on real fabric. So you won't be adding seam allowance a lot for this class if we're just gonna be sewing virtually. The computer doesn't need the seam allowance to sew it virtually. But if you're ever gonna print this guy out so that you can sew it up, probably gonna want seam allowance. Or if you wanna save it as a PDF and sell it on Etsy or something like that, you're probably gonna want some seam allowance so your customer can sew it up. So in Clo, it's pretty easy to do. You wanna make sure, I guess we could start, oh, let's see here. We need to find our tool. I was gonna say do the select tool, but I don't even think you need to do that. We just need to find our seam allowance tool. So I'm hovering over this little icon down here. It's kind of looks like the shape of my sloper. Isn't that funny? Sloper, how did they know? This, this is not gonna change. If you're drafting a skirt, it's not gonna be a shape of a skirt. <laughs> they just did a sloper for whatever reason. And it says seam allowance. I hovered over it. I'm gonna click it one time. And I clicked it with my left mouse. You can see it's highlighted now. Okay. So what I should do is really just click and drag over the whole thing. Okay, and now if you notice, it added seam allowance around the pattern. Do you guys see that? Now let's see how much seam allowance, like how does it know how much? I didn't tell it, so it just defaulted. And if you look, because it's selected right now, our property editor window is open. And, it, and if yours is not, it might be over here on the right, like a tab going down, look for it. It is saying that it's doing 394, 0.394 inches. That's less than half an inch. So that's pretty small. So for some reason they default to that amount. Um, I would prefer probably half an inch to be honest with you. So um, I'm gonna, now the, how would I just adhere you guys? I pushed my wheel. I have a scroll wheel and I clicked it down and I'm able to pan around. I roll the scroll wheel and I can zoom in and out. Okay, so I'm gonna click over all of it again. Click and drag. So I clicked at the top, I'm dragging my mouse, I'm letting go of my left mouse button. And it's all selected. I can tell it's selected because it's yellow. So I'm gonna change this to be 0.5 and I'll hit return. Okay, and hopefully that worked. Does it look a little bit bigger? It says it's bigger, so that's it. Now let's say for some reason I wanted the hem one inch. I can click just the hem. I'm gonna hold shift and click this. Now this guy, I believe he is um, symmetrical. He's set so that it mirrors. So I only have to click half of it and I can change you to one. And like that, it made that one inch and I can do that to the back as well. Change it to one inch. Okay, so there we go. That is how you add seam allowance. Um, how to turn it in, really all you need to do is take a screenshot. Do that right now. Um, I don't even need a screenshot of the avatar, so let me move my zoom thing. And oh, come back. You can click the 2D button down here. This is like, if you only wanna see 2D or you only wanna see 3D window, if you wanna see with a split screen, that can kind of control it down here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a screenshot. So I'm on a Mac. All I have to do is hit Command Shift 4. And then my mouse turns into, my cursor turns into like this cross. I can click and drag. It takes a picture and it saves it on my desktop for me. So then I can go ahead and embed that into the discussion board. You wanna make sure you do not attach. I'm not gonna grade attached files. It needs to be embedded so that the whole class can see it. They can scroll and, and see your image. Um, so that'll be very important. 
If you are on a PC, you're going to use the snippet tool to do a screenshot. Okay. Um, okay, and I guess that's really the end of the demonstration for notebook samples one and two.